Hey, how's it go? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All the info, none of the fluff, so let's get to it. Today, we're going to talk about a few ways of adjusting plugin parameters without opening the plugin. So obviously, if I can click on the effects parameter or any plugin and then come and make adjustments as I want. We also talked about how you can have them assigned to MIDI knobs and stuff like that in a previous video. I'll put the link up there. So for example, if I come to one of my EQs, on almost all my EQs, I have a low cut. And that is the one that I have to adjust quite a lot. So what I can do is I can click it, go to param and go to show and track controls. And now as you can see, it shows up up here and then I can do this with any other parameter that I want so let's add the cue of it here gain of that as well now I got these parameters right here on my TCP and if I make it small they won't show up and usually when I come to my tracks I hit exclamation mark and then I get this and as you can see you can add as many parameters as you want now it'd be really nice in Reaper if these were saved with plugin presets unfortunately they're not however they are saved as effects chains so if I then go and I save this as an effects chain basic EQ so then if I come to this track I'm gonna right click go to effects chain and find basic EQ then the same controls are there another thing you can do other than saving the effects chain is using this MPL apply visibility of focus FX TCP controls to instances and select a track so what I can do is first focus the effect here and I hit it and they're there so those are all pretty nice so I can also show you for example in my voiceover plugin chain where I edit these videos I have this effects chain so I have a vocal writer then it goes to a de -esser, then that goes to an EQ then it goes to noise reduction and then finally to a compressor so what i find is usually i don't play with the eq too much i don't play with the ds or too much even the vocal rider i'm i don't really play with what i do play with is my denoiser settings based on how noisy my recording is and my compressor so i only have those here and i can really play with them i can automate them as i go and i really quickly edit my videos and that's how i do one video per day so really useful tip i'm sure you'll have tons of ways that you can use it yourself it will take a little bit of time to do all of this stuff but then once you save it as an effect you can really use it anywhere and it's really useful so that's it for today have a good weekend there'll be no video on monday as i'm playing a show and uh, there won't be a video on tuesday because i'm doing a two-parter video on takes as a user requested so that video will come out on thursday i'm gonna miss you all <laughs> see you later bye